In this diecast and pouring game review, we're going to be taking a look at the Norscott Caterpillar 623G Elevating Scraper in 1 to 50 scale. This model was first released back in 2002, and it had several recolors, which we'll go over right now. There were four different versions made. This is obviously the most recent one, as you can see with the updated CAT graphics, and Diecast Masters has even updated this model even more. I do have to go out and apologize. I have been sick for the better part of a week. I was kind of waiting until uh, I got my voice back to do any of these, but it seems as though that's not going to happen anytime soon. So <clears throat> just bear with me here. And if I start coughing and dying, forgive me. So there is the original. Here's the 623G. That's the box that it came in. 55097. Released by Caterpillar, just like I told you in 2002. So in terms of functionality, there was no real major change. Um, it was just the fact that they kept upgrading and upgrading and upgrading the paintwork. Here is a special edition, part of the Machines at Work series, uh, where Norscott decided they wanted to, for one year, create a few weathered models th themselves. If you ask me, this goes in the fabulous flop file, as none of these models sold very well whatsoever. You can see this being a different number because it's a different model, and here, 2006. And last but certainly not least, probably my favorite out of the bunch, released in the same year as the primary paint scheme. Here is the CAT 623G Elevating Scraper in your jungle um, camouflage. Very, very nice looking model. I think they did a great job. And on the back you could see the other two models in 1 to 50 scale that were offered. And actually there's a fourth because there's a 980G that was painted in this color as well. Okay, so now that you've seen all the different ones... Let's crack open the most recent rock and uh, see what it has to offer. So since it's the newest, it does have that um, clear window box here, the typical cap black and yellow. On the back, it's got a great picture of the machine and some details about what the machine does, what the model does. So let's get this thing open. So in terms of size referencing a sword 1 to 50 scale pickup you'll see that this is not a very large scraper especially when uh, you're talking about some of the CCN stuff that's coming very soon there is the model let me go ahead and pull out Mr. Viagra and Cialis himself note the pull you can see that it is not well, you can see that it is not very big at all. Okay, so the functionality, probably the biggest disappointment I have with this model is that through all these years of developing and all these years they had to change this model, the actual elevating mechanism has stayed the same and it's this rubber kind of junk. It does move a little bit, but you really, really have to tug on it, at least on my review model, and it's really not that pleasing to be honest with you it does still have that eject ejection blade back here and you can lift the entire pan up if you want or you can lower it down if you want if you want to see it cutting all the hand and grab rails typical Norscott are plastic graphics applied though do look good from the front of the machine, you can see the CAT logo and some lights. On this side, again, the CAT logo embossed actually into the operator's cab. And that's a very nice touch. It does have a good range of functionality when it comes to the articulation point. Can't really ask for much more there. Pretty decent. And on the back, you have some more lights right up here and a sturdy push bar back here should you want to put a push dozer behind it. 
So overall, through the years, the Norscott in 1 to 50 scale CAT 623G scraper has remained a uh, solid model that stood the test of time and now is even into the Diecast Masters lineup. I would really have liked to have seen the whole uh, elevating scraper mechanism be able to move more than just up and down. And it would really be nice to see this casted in die-cast metal. But still in all, if you're into Caterpillar equipment and scrapers, this model might be perfect for you. And some of the other versions I showed you are selling for very, very, very low prices on uh, some of the websites. So be sure to check those out. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm sorry if I sound a little funny. I do appreciate your support as always. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next one.